hi everyone and welcome to your channel in this video i am going to show you a fabulous model which you can use to upscale images locally this model is a control net model which uses the supreme quality of flux.1 dev model to upscale any image online or locally from your hard disk it's all private it's all local and you can use it in a very very easy way and that is the topic of this video where i will be showing you how you can get this thing installed locally and then how you can play around with it but before i do that as we do i really want to and make you understand what exactly is meant by this control net and then how it patches up with flux dot uh, one dash dev model so because i believe that as long as we understand these concepts in a simple language without going into any machine learning lingo it is really fun to use these models easily locally so let's first try to understand what is meant by this control net so look we all know what flux.1 dev model is it is one of the best model out there from black forest lab it's a 12 billion parameter model which generates cutting edge very high quality images just from the text prompt and we already have installed these flux dot one dev Chanel, and we also have a look at the pro model earlier which are the three variants of this amazing family of models so if you're interested please search my channel with just flux or flux dot fun now what exactly then this control net upscaler is first let's try to understand what is meant by control net a control net model refers to a type of model that is designed to control or guide another model which is called as a base model so in this control net upscaler what is happening is that on top of this flux.1 dev model it has been fine-tuned and then a control net has been added to guide or control the output of flux.1 model to upscale any image which is provision to it control nets primary function is to refine or modify the output of the base model typically by adding additional information constraints or conditions control net model condition the output of the base model based on additional input or constraints so in this context the control net model is specifically designed to enhance the upscaling of low resolution images and this team, which is from Jasper AI, they have developed this control net model to refine the output of the base model, which is Flux.1 dev model. And that improves the quality and realism of the upscale images. So that is what control net is. That is how it relates to Flux.1 dash dev model. So let's now try to get this installed and then we will see how it works before i do that let me give a huge thanks to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to put a 50 percent discount coupon for range of gpu so do check them out let me take you to my local system where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's create a virtual environment with Konda. I'm just calling it CNET. Let's wait for it to get activated. Shouldn't take too long. Also, this user, diff user uh, library, so make sure that you install it like this so i'm not only installing diff users but i'm also installing transformers and a lot of other stuff like torch and torch vision and this is going to take three to four minutes so let's wait everything is installed and in, including the diff user which is used for diffusion models let's now let me clear the screen and now let's launch our jupyter notebook because we will be using it in the browser environment to make it easier so let's wait for it to get launched in the browser environment and the notebook is launched let's import the libraries which we have installed plus let's also download the model and you can see that not only we are using this flux one dev model 
we are also downloading its control net model developed by this Jasper AI. So let's download it. And you see that the control net model is small, just around three and a half gig, but the other flux, uh, flux dot one dev model is a bit uh, of a bigger size. So let's wait. And now it is downloading the flux one dev model which is, I guess, if I'm not uh, wrong, I think around 10 gig, maybe something like that. So make sure that you have that much space around 15 to 20 gig on your hard disk. Let's wait for it to finish. And both the models are now downloaded. And now let's see how can we upscale an image. So let me first paste the commands here. So what is happening in this command is that we are loading this image. You can, of course, load anything from your local system or from online and this is the image which i'm loading so you see the quality is not that good it is quite grainy uh, i'll just make it a bit bigger you see it's quite grainy at the moment now so what is happening then we are just giving it a new image size width and height we are specifying the resizing we are just up upscaling it four times by just multiplying it by four that's it and then we are piping it through so we're not specifying any prompt uh, we can if you like and then control image this is image which i just showed you and then scaling factor and other stuff and then we are printing out the new image so let's run it so as you can see it is upscaling the image the eta is around i would say now 10 seconds let's wait for it and look at this wow factor can you believe this let me show you the greeny one look at this greeny image and look at this upscaled one just look at the hand and you would clearly know, know the difference look at the t-shirt it is extremely um, vivid and very crisp and very very upscale so if i just scroll down here looks amazing i mean i think it's too upscaled wow simply amazing how good is that next up i already um, i have tried it with a already blurry image let's see what it does so i think it is just going to upscale it so if i just scroll down there you go so it has upscaled it but because even if the original image is blurry and you have on purpose masked it it is not going to do it so which is quite good okay so let's try out another one now in the next example i have just given it a local image um, and this is just a blurry image of some crowd here on the street. So let's see what it does. Meanwhile, that happens. Let's also check how much GPU VRAM it is consuming. So if I do NVIDIA dash SMI, it's not a exact size, but will give you just an idea. So you see, you would need at least 47 GPU of VRAM. So which means that make sure that you have at least 48 GPU of VRAM GPU card in order to run this okay so that's said and done let's close it let's see what it is doing it's still working let's wait for it to come back and then we will check it out taking a bit of a time so the more it seems the more complex the image is the more time it takes so this time it is giving me more than five minutes to upscale it anyway let's wait for it it is still progressing the image while that happens let me introduce you to our good friends at agent ql who are sponsoring this video agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page agent ql is a robust alternative to fragile xpath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. And I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. Let's go back, still three minutes remaining. So I will just wait. So it is finished. Now look at this effort. Let me scroll down. Pretty decent effort, I would say, still, because I think the image is quite quite blurry but still i think now we can make out mostly on the right hand side which looks quite good so all in all really impressive model i would say 
um, especially I think that if image is not too bad and just like these ones it really performs well so I would say that a real good stuff on top of this amazing flux one dash dev model let me know what you think try it out on your images if you have the bandwidth and 48 gb of vram and share your experience in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching